Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode with Sparta Rotterdam and we have got Europa League action today. We're in the knockout stages. Hopefully we can get past this stage now. I think last season we uh, we got knocked out. It was a one game only so I don't know really what happened there. But uh, we have got two legs, so I think it might have been a glitch or an error or something that happened. I just don't know. Today, Bayer Leverkusen. What do we know about Bayern Leverkusen? See how they are lying 13th in the Bundesliga. Which is, um, for them, I suppose, is quite disappointing. Doing well. They've only won one in three, which isn't great. They are precariously near the bottom of the table. Seven points off relegation. Their away form isn't brilliant. Although it is actually, <laughs> their away form is probably better than their home form. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, they lost to Schalke, beat Bazika. Oh, that was friendly, wasn't it? I think there were a couple of transfers going off as well before we do that. Hoydong was still waiting for his going at the end of uh, June. But uh, we do bring in a couple of players. I'm not sure if you're all aware. We were looking at a couple of them and we now have brought them in. So we got uh, Luca Perry. He's, he's on loan from Fiorentina. Uh, he's playing well. He's scoring goals. And we're, we're going to be playing him, I think. Uh, look at that potential ability there. Hopefully, we, it might be a possibility. We could actually bring him in. If he's only going to be valued at 3 million, hopefully, hopefully they might let him come here for another season, possibly. For, he's only played one two games for Fiorentina, the first team, but he's already played two games for us. Scored two goals in three. Fantastic stuff, that can't really moan uh, we've got Herman Mara from Man United as well he's got a box to box I wasn't aware when I bought him I was actually after for an attacking midfielder to replace Gomez but uh, no he's box to box so we're going to use him as well again he's only 3.7 hopefully we can put, do a deal and uh, get him on the cheap as well Killian Sardella six and a half million centre back and that was all because we thought Abispo was going to go and uh, he didn't go did he expensive for a panic buy I guess <laughs> Hammerson has gone to uh, Middlesbrough and we did say goodbye to Dev as well I think we mentioned that last episode but yes 2.9 million so apart from that it's uh, not a bad uh, transfers I guess just means that we're struggling to, for, to fit these players into the team now. Back to the side. We have got a lot of injuries and suspensions and what have you. So we can bring them in <laughs> quite easily. So we're going to have a grown bast in goal. Because Fabry's gone and got himself injured once again. Five weeks he's out. Dornbush is unregistered so he can't play. So yeah, I've kind of messed up big style here. Mara's not fit yet. Gomez is injured. Amat's injured. He's going to be out for another two weeks. Torres is suspended. Yeah, it's not looking great. Not looking great. And uh, Manus Gorta has been scoring goals as well. So if we look back from our last game, Zol 1-0. Uh, we beat Dan Hag 2-0. Croy and Perry on his debut. Uh, Uchrait, we won 4-2. That was a great result, that was. And Manus Gorta scoring two goals. Again, Luca Perry. He's getting in on there. And Sardilla scored on his debut as well. So there's quite a bit about scoring on debuts here. And then we beat Zol 3-1 this time. Away from home. Gomez, Manascorta and Fleming scoring his first goal of the season. And uh, I did tweet his goal. It was a fantastic goal. For his first game of the goal of the season. I'll just show you it as well actually. Because it was away from goal. And he managed to hook it round. It was a fantastic goal. And it's like he's never been away. It looked like it had gone away from us, the opportunity. But uh, Fleming did wrap his foot around it. Let's just have it. I think it's this one here. Bang. First goal of the season. Wow. So, yes, 3-1. But uh, we've got Bayern now. Then we've got Uthright, who we did beat 4-2 at home. But we got him straight away. So, there's quite a lot of uh, teams who are playing twice in a couple, matter of moments. Grown Bast in goal. He's, he's not playing too bad. Uh, as long as we're going about four or five goals up and he concedes one or two, then it doesn't really matter. Zifuk at the right. Abispo, Antonio and Baco. We've got Amoyonga and Perry in the centre. We've got Savage, Croy and Tavison, And then we've got Malaskorta up front. Croy's on 11 goals. Malaskorta's on 11 goals. Daniels is on 11 goals. We've got three people in double figures, which is great. Oh, another one, Gomez. He's on 11 goals as well, but he's not playing. So, uh, Jensen, I want to bring... In, but I want to try and give Savage a game as well because he, he's moaning he's getting no game time. So prove yourself, my friend. Prove yourself. 4 4 2. Okay, who's this? Fitz 14 26. That's not too bad, actually, I guess. 
Right, we've got Bayern Leverkusen kicking off now with Tar. Tar very much wiser. Can we get the advantage in this first leg? It would be nice as we're on the attack now. We're, we're in good some formats at the moment, but that's a, not a great ball, is it, at all? As we're just playing it around back and forth. Abispo holds it up. Antonio now. Nice to have him back at the back. And, uh, yeah, it's great play between the pair of you. Let's move it up front. Grombast to Osbispo then. That's nice. Good ball over the top. Nobody's going for that. Is it Maniscorta? Why are you not doing it? And uh, Fritz. Great ball into the centre. And that's a great finish. 1-0 down after six minutes. It's not uh, the start. Oh, hang on. What's going on here? What is going on here? He's looking for VAR. Why? God is upheld. Why? Is there a reason for it? I have no idea. Oh, it is. It is upheld. Sorry. It's not. <laughs> okay, I don't want to see it again, do we? I was just wondering what... what what it meant then, it just kind of uh, didn't register. Right, demand more. On me on go now, Tavison. Like I said, we are on good form. It was a good string of uh, results, and uh, we're coming undone again in Europe. I mean, I thought this side would be good enough. We're just probably losing a few key players, but Tavison does put his eighth goal of the season in the back of the net, back post, and uh, we're 1 1. He's not going to VAR this one. But Perry is involved there with Savage. Uh, Savage plays it out wide to Backer, who one touch and then crosses it. And yeah, that'll do nicely, guys. Nice, well done. We're coming up to half time, and nothing's really happened since that goal at all. I suppose it won't be a bad result, but it's not going to be a good one either. We could do with some sort of advantage. I mean, one shot on goal we've had. That's all we have had. 55 minutes gone and we're still waiting. A highlight. Manus has just gone and got himself yellow carded. I want Jensen in the centre. Savage not really doing anything. So we're going to put Jensen in there. You can go. Trekatista. Manus you've been poor. Can you play anything else, Daniels? Not particularly, can he? Croy, he's been rather quiet and nobody else can go in there either. Centre, we've done two substitutions. I don't I want to just save the next one for about another 10, 15, 20 minutes. Bit attacking as well. We want advantage here. 10 to go. What do we do? What do we do? I would have gone two up front, but... Oh, we have a corner though. Last couple of minutes. Anybody going to get on the Bispo? Headed it straight. Well, we don't even want to run for it, do we? And where on earth are our defenders? Oh, he's just legged him over. Oh, for goodness sake, what are you doing? I mean, that is just ridiculous. Second year of has been sent off as well. There's nothing else we can do. We're into stoppage time almost. And we're 2-1 down with 10 men. Leon Bailey with his 12th goal of the season. Fuming isn't a word I would use at the moment. Home advantage. We've been playing well all season. And we're on a big run. And they falter. I'm beginning to get to the point where I can't do anything with this Sparta side at all. No matter what I do, I can't do anything with it. 2-1. Leverkusen have advantage. Tough result to take. No, I'm going to go aggressive. I'm upset. I am upset. Villarreal are 3-0 up away from home. Lazio, 3-2 against Hoffenheim. Arsenal are 1-0 up against Udinese. So there are... And Feyenoord are 3-0 down as well against Levante. So not looking great for the Dutch teams. PSV, apart from them, 2-1 up. At least we have a second leg. Ziffy's banned for one. And you know what? You lost us that game, so I'm going to fine you regardless. Find you a week's wages. I'm sorry. I don't care if you feel the fine was unfair. You cost us the game. I mean, look at this. All that, and then we lose here. Oh, at home as well. And now we've got to play uh, Uthright away from home. We'll see you in a couple of minutes when we play our next game. Disappointing, to say the least. Right, the side is looking a little bit sparse. 
mainly because I made a bad call. Uh, I played some of these players in um, reserves. So all of these guys, they can't play. They can't even go on the bench either, So which is rather annoying. So we've got Graham Bast in goal. We've got Zifu, Zodera, Antenu and Baka at the back. Torres and um, Perry, Tavson, Jensen and Croy. And then we've got Malaskort up front. Let's say get on with this game. Are we? Are they going to allow us to submit this team? Yeah, I know I've selected a possible five from twelve because they're all played in the. <laughs> they've all played in the thingy game. We haven't got uh, enough players. Oh dear! Next time I'm not going to play anybody. I was that mad. I just pressed play. You can all play for the reserves. Bad on my part. Um, there's no probably. Without any doubt, we'll probably end up losing this game. Right, we do have the ball. We are in the black. And as if you're going to cross that ball in, back post, nobody there. Uh, they come and collect from deep. And all it is, it's going to take a, a knock up front. Torre comes forward for upright. And uh, there we go. And they've scored a goal from the near post. Three minutes in, and I'm just getting rather, rather frustrated now with this team. It doesn't seem to be anything we can do now. I mean, that should not have happened. What goalkeeper lets, does that, really? Ball gets headed away or knocked away. Jensen puts the ball back in there. Nobody's there. We've got off the post. And we do get one back. Croy, he's leading goal scorer, guys. He's leading goal scorer. He's got 12 goals. And uh, our left winger is a leading goal scorer. I mean, what does that say about the side, really? Torres, it's a good play. Off the upright though, and oh uh, wow, Croy, first to react. That's that's what you want to see. So we're back in it. So we're only eight points behind Ajax now. <laughs> as long as we stay ahead of Feyenoord and PSV, then we'll. Uh, I'll be happy with the second spot. Well, second spot is all we can achieve, I think. I don't think we can. Uh, realistically, we're not going to win the league. I don't think. Or can we? But uh, yes, Conte now with the ball. It's uh, it's a big ask. So big ass, we're just hoping Ajax mess up a few more attempts and we win our games. But judging last performance and this one as well, and hardly any people on the bench, so everybody's going to have to play, get really tired, injure themselves, and uh, then we'll be totally and utterly buggered. There we go, ball over the top. And we've got a defender there. It's, oh, good sliding tackle there. I was, didn't think he was going to get that. Zadella. Ball over, nobody quite getting there at all. It was to nobody in particular, really, to be fair. And uh, we're just, uh, I think we're just going through the motions. I think we've been on a very, very good run, and it's all going to come crashing down around us. And oh, that's well, good taken by the young goalkeeper. Hopefully, what? Just, oh my. I mean, he played it against their player. We're just being totally and utterly um, bossed here. Demand more. And I'm going to have to say something else at half time because we're defending stoutly. And that hopefully should be half time. I'm going to say, assertively say, uh, we haven't been the better team. Uh, far from pleased what I've just seen. Get it up front. I'm thinking of dropping midfielder down and not have that attacking midfielder. Ball up front. I mean, where's that to? I mean, unless Croy can get there, which he's not, then there's not what he's just whacked that one, didn't he? And uh, again, Uthra just we do get it away. Oh, it's a good stop. Did he miss that? It's a corner ball. So did he save it again? That's impressive. Double save if he did. But they play it out wide, just on the edge of the box. It's going to go back to Torre ball comes in we missed the header completely and it's gone wide is it goal kick okay Jensen you can go out on the left hand side Tavson you've been awful I'm gonna bring Amiyonga in and I'm gonna drop him back I'm going three in midfield I can't warrant um, this sort of play I really can't and they have the ball in our half as well uh, they are looking for the winner I mean they deserve it We've just been utterly rubbish. <sighs> Ronald Van Dyke. 
rises above everybody's free head. I mean, he's there in the middle, isn't it? Is that him? Yeah, it is. He's just roaming. Oh, look, free header. And once again, the ball goes over our young goalkeeper. I mean, how tall is he? Is he a hobbit? Um, we're going to do that. Jensen can go in there and he can uh, on attack. Cry, can we? No, we can't do anything with Cry either. Did Jensen only just come on? No, he hasn't. We're going to bring a Savage in there. He might do something. I'm not, I'm not going to hold my breath. We've got nothing but defenders there now. That's it. Unless we put everybody in defence. What's the point of that? I'm telling you now, this could this be the final chance of the, for us, at least anyway. Ball comes in and... <gasps> yes! What was I saying? Absolutely brilliant. We're absolutely cool, we are. Um, with, with, wow. Well, with a broken side... We may have rescued a point here. It's very, very good crossing by Bakker and Malaskorta. His 12th goal of the season as well. So him and Croy, leading goal scorers. Malaskorta, oh no. No, no, no. Time up, referee. That's it. 2-2. Two, two. Okay, it's not bad. We got away with it. We got away with it. 90th minute equaliser. I'm happy. We are eight points behind Ajax with a game in hand. So we could close that down to five. But I think our chance really has gone. Well, if we get second spot, that's a big, big improvement. We haven't won the league for a good 60, 70 years. So I suppose one more year isn't going to hurt, is it? Well, like I said, we are going to be coming back. I mean, it's a long run and then we falter here. We get that odd draw away from home. I suppose it's not too bad. Right, we're back for the next uh, back for the next two games. by Leverkusen and uh, Heracles. And that is a game we really... Well, we need to score goals there's no two ways about it two nil win would be nice we've got to score two goals at least equal their aways and that is uh that is the top and bottom of it so if you enjoyed that please pop a like on the if you'd like to see more on youtube channel please subscribe and also if you want to see what happens on the next episode until then guys thank you very much for watching thank you